Hi guys, hi children. I've been asked to um, prepare some activities and some stories um, for you to enjoy with your children at home um, while there is no church. So um, if you don't know me, I'm Lottie Backhouse. I am the children's ministry worker at St John's. And um, today I am going to do with my storyboard the story of the lost sheep. So I was wondering um, if anyone can remember ever being lost. I got lost once. Um, I, when I was a little girl, I used to love when we were in clothes shops, going in between the racks and going right in the middle where the pole is behind the clothes and hiding. And my parents would have to look underneath the clothes racks to see if they could see my feet and one day um my parents didn't come they weren't looking for me and this security guard found me and he took me to the security guard station and i stayed there until my mum and dad came and i was a bit scared because i didn't know what was going to happen and where my mum was but i was a bit excited because it had never happened before um and uh, so my mum came and she was really worried but once she, once she'd found me she was okay she she felt a lot better um so so yes so maybe you could help your child to um remember a time that they were lost or you could share a time with them that you were lost or maybe that you lost something um and uh, just yeah enjoy sharing stories um, so I'm going to read The Lost Sheep, which is a parable that Jesus um, taught. And uh, there was a shepherd and that shepherd, there he is, on the, on the hills, he had a hundred sheep. So here we go. Here's a sheep. Now, I haven't got a hundred sheep. I've only got about six. So we'll have to pretend that there's a hundred sheep here. OK, there's lots and lots more sheep. So here we go. And this shepherd loved to count his sheep. So, children, can you count the sheep with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, that isn't a hundred, is it? So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll count them slightly differently, okay? You ready? One, two, three. Miss a few, 99, 100. Okay, so this shepherd living in the hills with his sheep, what does a shepherd do for, for his sheep? That's right, a shepherd looks after the sheep. He makes sure that they're not attacked by wolves or anything like that. He makes sure that they have lots to eat, so the grass and lots of water to drink absolutely so this shepherd was looking after his sheep and he loved to count them so we're going to count them again are you ready one two three miss a few 99 oh now the shepherd had a naughty sheep and he liked to wander off so he'd wandered over the river, behind the bush, do, 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 up the hill, la, 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 la. He was having a lovely time. He went behind that bush. He had a little sleep behind that bush. <laughs> Can you hear him snoring? He went down the valley, down the valley, up onto the other hill. And he hid. And obviously, like we said, the shepherd counted his sheep. Should we do it again? One, two, three, miss a few, 99, one. Oh, where's that naughty sheep gone, said the shepherd. Now, children, what do you think the shepherd did? Did he say, you know what? That naughty sheep is always running off. I'm just going to leave him. It's tough luck. He should not be wandering off. Or did he say, right, you 99 sheep are good sheep. And I know if I leave you 99 here, you'll stay here. 
and I will go and search for the lost sheep. What do you think he did? Did he give up on the sheep or did he keep searching for him? That's right, he kept searching for them. So he left the 99 sheep that hadn't wandered off and he went looking for the sheep. Careful, there we go. Off he went, over the river, splosh, 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 round the tree. No, he's not behind that tree. Is he behind this tree? No, he's not behind that tree. Up onto the hill. Oh, I can see for miles up here, but there's no sheep. Down into the valley, up onto the hill. Children, where's that naughty sheep? Can you shout and tell the tell the shepherd where he is? What was that? Try behind the bush. And as the shepherd looked into the bush, there tangled in the bushes was the sheep. <gasps> now, what do you think the shepherd did? Did he say, you naughty sheep? You are very naughty. You're grounded for a week. Or did he say, I found my sheep. It was lost, but now it's found. I'm going to take it home and celebrate with everyone. What do you think? Did he tell it off or did he celebrate? You're right. He celebrated. He took the sheep home. He took him down the valley on his shoulders. He was. He took him down the valley, up onto the hill, down through the fields, over the water. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish back to his other sheep and he called to his shepherd's friends come 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 and join me and my sheep have a celebration my sheep was lost but now he's found and that story tells us that god loves us no matter what and he will never stop looking for us even when we wander away and decide to do our own thing because we can, we can do stuff on our own. He'll never stop looking for us. He'll always look for us and always want to be close to us. I hope you've enjoyed the story. I hope you like the PDFs below or on the church website. Um, do let me know what you think and hopefully see you again next Sunday for something different. Now, uh, take care and keep safe. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye, children!